Champ Barbecuers. Merry Christmas. Today we're using the Pit Boss Vertical 7. We are gonna do poppers, sausage bread, and beer can chicken. A lot of other grub being done inside the house, but let me utilize this guy. I'm gonna fill that up with food. I got the poppers rolled up right now. Let's um, throw those in. I'm gonna go grab the chickens. They've been patted dry and cleaned out and all that good stuff. We're gonna season them up. We're doing two different yard birds. Alabama white barbecue sauce. Gonna go on some of that chicken. I mean, look at this grub. I got the pit boss rolling at 350. I was gonna cook at 300 to make it a little bit longer, but other guests are coming a little bit sooner, so we'll speed up the process of touch. Um, that's a-okay. If you want more smoke on it, kick it down to 250. On this pit boss, you're gonna get plenty of smoke. So we got two yard birds. We're going to stuff a can of beer up their ass. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I don't know who invented it, it does work pretty well. It does. And it's one of those, everybody has to do it at least once, right? And um, it's just, who sat around thinking that? Come on. <laughs> but without further ado, let's pop the top. Cheers and Merry Christmas. You want about three quarters full. It's a grapefruit beer by Genesee. Um, Genesee Brewing Company. We'll give that a shot. Oh, the reason why is because one of these birds is going to be a lemon. Lemon chicken, lemon beer can chicken. The other one's going to be just a regular chicken and herb blackstone seasoning with some bobs all purpose. And salt and black
this is inspired by Tommy from the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. And um, we are doing up the Alabama barbecue sauce. I'm going to twist it up a little bit. I watched a couple videos on how to make this Alabama white sauce. And um, it's slight variations, barely any difference. So let's check it out. And um, we're going to put that together right now. Why was that so dramatic? Right now. <laughs> hey, it's Christmas. Santa's coming. smoke so keep that fan on Alabama white sauce got a hint of red from that cayenne I put in there Man, that's good that is that's good oh yeah if you like uh like Carolina barbecue sauce it's got that vinegary yum if you like that you're gonna dig this this is rocking I mean it's good give it a shot I'm gonna leave the ingredients down below that I used um, Tommy had a, a different one I saw Pitmaster X had one and I saw a few and I just combined a couple ideas slapped it together tastes good I didn't even mess with it it's a rocking hell yeah I'm gonna pull these chickens. They're done. Whoo! Sausage bread. That sausage bread is ready to pull in about five minutes. So I'll get that the beer can chickens off. I'm gonna tent them in a big pan, and uh, we'll slice into those. The um, poppers. Don't do them in a the pan. And disappointed. I mean, they're still going to be good, but just nothing like I usually get with just putting them on the grill grates. I was trying to make things quick and easy, pull them in the house. Lesson learned. But I'm sure it's still going to be good. And I want to slam one of those into that Alabama barbecue sauce. Oh, hell yeah. Christmas Eve, folks. Oh. Oh, we're ready to pull that chicken. Those pit boss probes, dude, that just jumped. 15 degrees since I clicked record. I'm going to use another probe. It just dropped back down. In the meantime, my favorite part favorite part of Christmas. Something I started doing because I watched the Trailer Park Boys. Christmas Bonfire. Let's go check it out.
I started using last year's Christmas tree. <laughs> It's actually not that bad for central New York. It's over 30 degrees. A little chilly, but <laughs> the snow's been melting. Yesterday was almost 60 degrees. After the day or two before that was only tops 20. So, hell yeah. Awesome Christmas tradition. Have a Christmas bonfire. In the words of Bubbles, let's have a great big Christmas bonfire. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, let's go check on that chicken because the temp was bound. See? Back to 158. I mean, it shot up. I am going to plunge in an instant read real quick and uh, check the breast on the thicker one and that's the, uh, the Blackstone Chicken and Herb one poppers are ready to come off sausage bread probably another 20 minutes and uh, chicken when we pull it off we're gonna tent it let it rest and we'll pull them, the cans out of the ass of the chickens and um, we'll rest them and then we'll start slicing them too. Oh, well, yeah. this back up bring it back in and actually let me cut in to the breast dry breasts here. Come on. Yeah. Wow. For the win. What? Damn. Okay. It's all coming together. Sausage bread. Looking yummy. Oh yeah. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, 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 oh perfect. Now, we're running out of space up in her. I need, I need to configure the barbecue shanty for sure. Yes. 
I got some ideas. I had ideas, and then all these new grills came in. <laughs> anyway, grill ideas change. Everything changes. You just have to adapt to it, right? Merry Christmas, everybody. Let's get this sausage bread off. Change is good. That's I am a okay with change. Lemon. deep in the roots of our DNA can't go wrong so anyway not really <laughs> trust me um, Alabama white barbecue sauce gonna go on some of that chicken I mean look at this grub here to your barbecue Christmas Eve alright Try this out. Inspired by Tommy from the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. If you haven't seen his channel before, check it out. I will. Post a card for his channel. All right, let's try the breast on the pit boss vertical. I'm telling you what, man, you could have a really bad chicken. <laughs> That sauce is gonna bring it back up to pretty damn good. But if you got a good cooked chicken and that sauce, you've got dynamite, bro. Mmm. That the chicken was cooked awesome. That Alabama white sauce? Oh hell yeah. You check that out. I'm gonna leave my recipe down below. So I mixed and matched and messed around and fiddled with stuff and made my own. Let's check. Is that so damn good? Oh come on. <sighs> Sausage bread. This is one of the best things in the world, let me tell you.
Santa Claus came early. I'm telling you. Every time. Sausage bread. And then. Let's check my poppers. All the same things I did on the last one. That blackberry jam. Cream cheese. I skipped the sharp cheese there. <laughs> What's the thing? Anyway, looks killer. The bottom didn't come out so hot because I put it on a pan. Don't do that. I messed up. I was trying to make things a little more quicker around the shanty for Christmas Eve. And yeah, it was quicker. Just not as good. Let's give it a shot. still good though not enough bacon though the whole bottom the bacon came off still really good but I like that that crunch yeah it is what it is man here's here's a special treat the cheese that oozed out of the uh Sausage bread? Man. <laughs> Man, that's good. Mm hmm. Man, I'm telling you what, that Alabama white sauce? Do that. That's good. Get yourself one of these, too. Oh, what we're going to do? Christmas. It's Christmas, folks. Grab me some sausage bread. We're out of here. Ooh, the jalapenos. Ha! Ah. Oh, let's back her up. It's a little smoky. Merry Christmas, folks. Cheers. Happy New Year, YouTube, baby. Mm. Can't beat that. Yeah, that's snow. <laughs> Let's keep the fire rolling. Let's keep this channel going. And subscribe if it's your first time here. Smash that jingle bell there. And I will catch you on the next cook. Peace. Merry Christmas, everyone. Cheers.